Welcome, friends, to another episode of Seven Days to Die, modded with Darkness Falls. It's good to be back here since the last episode. What we did is we just went out and did a little bit of looting here to test out our new power weapons. They're pretty cool, but honestly, I don't see using them too much. I'm thinking this episode, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to start farming some Screamers because we need some damn levels here we are at level 129 and we need to get our technology up at level 150 here what we can have is a laser pistol so we can actually make laser pistols and parts and it add, adds entity penetration to the laser pistols so when they're all nice and lined up you can use a laser pistol and hit multiple entities at one time which is damn sick but that's at level 150 and at the next level here at 175 we can unlock the laser rifle in parts. That would be pretty damn cool to have. Unlocks the rechargeable battery mod recipe and adds an entity penetration to the laser rifle. So that's pretty damn stu good stuff. That's what we're heading towards. So here we are at the Horde base and we just recently finished this wing here. We're gonna get four wings on this thing and turn this into like the box from hell. Literally, it's gonna be stuff flying all over the place. I'm probably gonna die a lot. I'm, I'm assuming so, but anyway, this thing here is just getting upgraded and what we need to do is actually spend some time in the area for this concrete to dry so that I can upgrade it to steel. Now I'm going to check my stock on steel and stuff. It's actually been a few days since I've been able to play, unfortunately. I do try to get a video out every day, guys, as often as possible, but sometimes real life happens and that stuff gets in the way, right? Like, I'm not going to lie, I'm doing pretty well on YouTube, but at the same time, it's not like my main source, right? I do other stuff too so this is more of me sharing with you guys and uh, just I was fortunate enough to get a good break at it okay I'm gonna go back to my base here grab some stuff for building some stuff for digging we're gonna get some of this dug while we get some of that upgraded and now in order to get a lot of screamers over here um, actually I don't even think we have to really dig much we can just wait for it to to dry so yeah I'm gonna go grab titanium we're gonna grab some steel and we're also going to get some burning barrels. What we can do is stack the burning barrels and that will create more than enough heat to call in screamers for us. And we can actually try to melee, I think, a lot of the screamers. So yeah, we'll get this stuff all modded up. We'll try it out. We'll get all of that done. This is pretty exciting. I want to get some levels under my belt here. And of course, we have a bunch of steel here that was being made in our forges, so we'll grab that up. I think that is more than enough. And I've gone ahead and modified all of these. I just threw in whatever I could find out of my mod box into them. So I'm going to grab the last remaining barrel here. We're going to head up, and what I'm going to do is actually put these right, I think, in the middle of our base, uh, right in the underneath. And, oh, actually... I wonder if I put it... No, I don't think they go by level. I think it's just location, so it'll t tend to wander towards that area, not level. So yeah, we'll put it all up underneath the base and just kind of stand there and wait. Whoops, sorry about the flashing, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually turn these off here because I want to preserve ammo. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. There we go. We're only use that... For Horde Knight here, what I'm going to do once the Screamers do start coming, I'm going to actually use my melee tool or melee weapons and try to get them that way. That way we can just kind of repair the base as we go. And oh, damn, guys, I just realized <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I forgot the titanium again, damn it. Okay, whatever. Well, uh, at least I can go up there and get those fixed up. That's the only weak spot. That's where, you know, things might get a little unfriendly. But I do have a weapon, so if anything goes really bad, I can hop out, get in the uh, the 4x4, and take off. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the heat map to get going, I'm going to go ahead and get this upgraded all to steel. This should also help get my levels up with real quick. Okay, so while I'm upgrading this, I thought, hey, good time for a catch-up. I did a little bit of a rant here last video about the uh, the neighbor here and the fence and boundaries and whatnot. And a lot of people are on your, uh, the same side, you know, like think the, the parents should take responsibility. Well, I do stand there, uh, but I, I kind of want to clarify. I was I think I was more upset the fact that he took the liberty of just hopping over the fence and doing that instead of just coming over and... You know, knocking on my door like, uh, you know, a normal human being does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It was the actions, um, not the actions themselves, but uh, the lack of respect behind them. Anyway, I'm putting up a fence. Not, not a big deal. Fence is going up. 
no problem, so we don't have to really think about that anymore. Um, but yeah, just kind of get back to that. Now, I did look up some laws because a gentleman did bring up a very good point, uh, which I didn't know and which would probably actually be good for a lot of people here. I think these laws apply in only some states. It depends on where you are. Uh, it applies in Canada and I do believe the UK, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, what it's called is... Oh, there we go. Okay, so I actually had to pause there. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's called Attractive Nuisance, which means if something in your yard looks attractive to a child and that child climbs a fence, gains entrance into your yard, does whatever, whoa, and hurts that child or hurts themselves, you actually could be held liable. Now, could be, which means it has to go to court. The judge has to see the case. Of course, it's not like you they write you up a ticket and you're guilty, right? So you don't really have to worry about that too much, but a troublesome neighbor who doesn't respect boundaries could actually become a also very expensive neighbor too. Now, I, I do believe a lot of the cases were where the neighbor did something like put like spike strips or something or a whole bunch of nails down, just was uh, was really malicious with their, their intents of stopping the children. And hey, like I said, we all have our own opinions on what you should be able to do in your own yard and how much responsibility a parent should take for their child. But the reality is, uh, legally in a lot of places you, you can't do that and if you do that it's uh, considered very malicious and you're held responsible but of course we have insurance that's what homeowners insurance and stuff is for um, if you're a renter that's what renters insurance is for um, especially if like your dog hurts a, a child on the property then like it's also the same thing it's just it's unbelievable the dog will get in trouble if it aren't harms a person it, gaining entrance or a child gaining entrance to your property so we're gonna have to uh, really keep diligent about Bob like I said he's he's not an aggressive dog at all he's just very very playful and because of uh, before I, I got him um, adopted him he was he was left outside for a very long time so he's a, on a lead attached to a dog house by himself as a quote-unquote guard dog so he was trained to grab and pen uh, but not trained on why, how, or when, and it's it's been a few years of just concentrating with them to try to get them socialized and and properly trained and stuff, right? But he gets excited, and from time to time to time he'll he'll want to you know engage in some roughhousing with with the child, and uh, you know he, he, family members are fine, so they know what's going on, it's controlled. But that can be scary to other children, so that's why I'm saying I I keep them away from children, right? It's not because he doesn't like children, it's not because I don't like children. It's just he's not been socialized properly, and it's not because I haven't tried. It's, well, COVID makes things really freaking hard to do that. But it's just a, a matter of the fact, right? And I keep appropriate. Like, when I take him for a walk, he has his muzzle and stuff on. So um, even for those people who let their kids run at dogs or let their small dogs run at big dogs, not a smart thing either. But anyway, getting back on that, guys. So thank you for the feedback on that one. I don't feel so bad about my actions, but I did learn in the end some laws that I didn't know. Uh, just as an added bonus, if you have a pool and it doesn't have a hard cover and a child goes and drowns in it, you're liable for that, by the way, if they get access to your property. So <laughs> just a heads up, if you live in any of those countries, you really should protect yourself. You gotta, you gotta know what's going on. I mean, some things you assume, uh, you just can't assume anymore. Okay, so I guess there's nothing else left to do. Uh, but, but to wait, I mean, we got that all upgraded. Look at that, it's all steel, isn't that? Oh, almost all steel. I was talking away to you guys here, and I jumped up a little too early. But I guess I can just kind of keep a watch here. I mean, I, I got ten of those down. That, that should be good enough. Well, I've sat here for a bit, kind of reading up, doing some research on stuff, and... Nothing... No screamers yet, so I guess that didn't work. Well, let's head back then. What we're gonna do is, whoa, we're gonna grab our titanium and come back with some more barrels. We gotta make some more noise, I guess. Well, good morning, guys. There is a morning bell right there, so I decided to go ahead Upgrade this side to stainless steel because I completely forgot about that and got carried away. See, I'm just on a mission here. Let's go ahead. I got 20 freaking barrels on us and yes, I finally got some titanium here. We're going to 
make sure I got all the repairs done on the inside. So if this doesn't call in any freaking screamers, I will eat my shorts. Look at that, we still got nine left. Do these, do these pile on top of each other? They most certainly do. Here we go, there we go. Nice little firewall right here. Can't complain too much. <laughs> Just fire everywhere. Whew, it would be hot in that box. This is all surrounded by stainless steel. Damn, that would really suck. Good thing this is in real life. Jesus. Well, while we're waiting, may as well finish the inside of the box here. This has to be all upgraded to titanium. And then I gotta make sure we have all of our repairs done. Yeah, we do. Okay, so the, the walls are looking really good. Let's get this side done up. Oh, we got our first one, guys. There she is, finally. Holy crap, that took a little bit. Hey, why are you wandering over there? Supposed to be coming over this way. She's just wandering over in the distance. Well, that's not very effective. Come over here. Come see. Come see what all the fire is about. There you go. Right over here. Ah, oh, damn it. She doesn't see me. Okay, you know what? Ugh. It's a little hard to get back up really quickly from here when I panic, but let's see if this will do. Oh my God! I don't want to kill her. Okay, you know what? Let's bring her over here. I don't know why she's standing over here. I I was pretty sure that Screamer is always came directly at your location. Ooh, is she running? Uh, so, whoa, sounds like she actually might be running. Okay, so let's get up here. Yep, she's definitely running. All right, we got ourselves a crowd now. Let's close that door right here. And I'm gonna start uh, slapping some zombies up. Uh, her though, I'll actually just wait until she falls or something because I, re I really don't want to uh, get these guys. What the heck is going on over there? Hey guys! Well, I guess they can kind of chill out over there. Oh, there's a cop right there. Not a good idea at all. <laughs> okay, now we're actually starting to get zombies on both sides, which is pretty damn cool. Holy crap, guys! Did I just get us in huge, huge trouble here? All by myself? Uh oh. Uh, I thought I could handle this. Maybe that was not the best idea. Oh, damn. Okay, so at least I have some ammo on me. But this does seem to be taking care of these guys. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we have them on the three sides now. Screamer hordes is where it's at, guys. Screamer hordes are definitely where it's at. Boom, there we go. Fall off the cliff. There, I don't want to kill the screamer. The screamer actually can stay. Yeah, that was satisfying. Boom, there you go. Whoa. How the heck did you end up in here? Oh, no. Can they glitch through these things? Uh-oh. We're definitely going to have to keep an eye out for that. Or are they actually getting on top now, piling on each other? Uh, let's take a look here. I don't see any holes. So, yeah, they're definitely glitching through. So, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Now, it's never actually worked on Horde Nights. So, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, da oh boom. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> Soldier right inside with us. Oh, my God. Horde Nights going to be a lot of fun if they get piled up like this. Wow, that is insane. I love how that cop uh, blew up and just like took him inside. That is amazing. Okay, you know what? Uh, the cops are the worst. I really don't want them to blow up because they do uh, actually quite a bit of damage. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this thing. Ooh, I like this for this. I mean, it is a way uh, a way nicer weapon, too, like a way better quality weapon, so... I mean, I kind of understand why it's doing more damage, but just the electricity itself seems to really take uh, take over these guys. Yeah, there we go. The zombie bear. <laughs> Love it, they're all falling off the edge. Oh, there we go. So, our XP must be going up pretty damn quickly here, because nothing is stealing our kills this time, either. Here we go. Okay, you know what, guys? We got a second here. Oh, did the Screamer die? I think the Screamer actually might have met their death. So we're going to go ahead and modify this. We got the liquid, uh, liquid nitrogen one on this one. And I think we might be able to... No, we actually can't. Damn it. That would be sick, having electricity and nitrogen on the same one. Be pretty damn killer in my opinion. Boom, that one's down. 
There we are. It looks like they kind of stand on that edge a little weird, too, from time to time. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty badass for doing this. Look at that head. Love <laughs> he does a little bit of a moonwalk off the edge when you hit him. I love that. Okay. Well, that was one Screamer Horde. Now I guess we just wait for... Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Just wandering around outside there. Is she, is she on her way here? Let's check that out. Hey, mister. You know what? I will not suffer, good sir. I will actually rather have... Or flourish. That's what I meant to say. Oh my god, I'm so bad at burns. Is he dead? <laughs> Aw. I hope the, the fall didn't steal my kill. Damn it. Where'd that screamer go? There was one headed here. Ah, there she is right there. Okay. So let's go ahead here and give uh, our, our walls a quick repair because they did take some damage. That screamer's on her way. So there we are. Ooh, yeah, we're going to need uh, to definitely keep a lot of this on us here if we're, we're going to be doing some of this. Like, look how fast they get through this stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that uh, one cop exploded up here. So you know what? Here we go. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll switch them out. Take that. And that. There you go. Oh, he didn't die? Damn. Get the nurse. Got to get the nurse. Her AOE actually heals all the, uh, all the zombies around her. Oh, damn. Those guys suck. Let's get rid of him. Yeah, there you go. Kind of seems like a, a little bit of a rag doll, and these guys fall right off the edge. And tend to bring other enemies with them, which is pretty damn cool. Yeah, white. There you go. I'll just kick <laughs> right in the balls. Oh, uh, how do you feel? Oh, holy crap, a demo zombie. What? Oh, boy. Oh, did he blow up in midair? No friggin' way. That's sick. Well, at least he didn't blow up on the bridge, I can tell you what. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, that's awesome. Okay, do we have another one? We do. We have a few demo zombies, actually. So, screamers. Bring on demo zombies, guys. That's an actual thing. There we go. The screamer's still live on that side, so we'll keep getting enemies. Oh, just there you go. There you go, demo zombie. Just fall off the edge there. That is what you do. <laughs> I love it. This is actually a very effective design. This is almost actually more fun than Horde Knight. Why bother with Horde Knight when you can just scream or hoard it, right? Here we go. I mean, we're not getting any... Demon zombies yet, so that's a good thing. Oh, getting them zombie or those those health or the health points. Wow, the experience points. I love it. And those or stairs, I do have to say, they seem to slow the zombie bears down. So that's almost a good thing having the stairs like that. Uh, we're gonna keep it and observe that, I think, uh, just a little bit more, just to see what happens. I don't want to get too close to that zombie bear, those things are pretty damn deadly. There we go. <laughs> Off with your head, Mr. Bear. There we go. Oh, crap! Oh, I think he blew up just below us. Ooh, that's a close one. Oh, this is so much fun, guys. I should do this all the friggin' time. Holy crap. And I don't, like I, don't, like I said, I don't really need to use up a lot of ammo, right? Because, like, this thing is pretty damn badass. This is so much fun. There we go. He's down. Just keep smacking him up side to side. Keep the piles off of the walls here. I kind of think having four sides is a good idea, too, because it, it'll splits up the zombies, right? Whoa, what just hit me? It splits up the zombies, right, so that um, you don't get them all piled up on one side. So, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that zombie bear went a flying. What's up, Screams? Here you go. Call in some more friends for me. I need some more XP. There you go. Fall down, down into that hole. Right on. There you go. Screamer, just fall off the edge. You're in the way now. There we go. Get rid of that stupid spides. I have a feeling, though, we're going to have to repair some damage. I mean, those demo zombies didn't explode right there on us. But they did explode rather close, so they, they obviously took some blocks with them. There we go. 
He's down. The soldier boys, though, they, they can take a little bit of a beating with those things. Here we are. Repair some of that. There we go. Okay, we'll go around, make sure the sides are all good. And yeah, this block to take a little bit of damage. Woohoo! Okay, this isn't anything we really can't handle. I mean, imagine the amount of loot we must have down there. Although, fact, you get less loot during regular days than you do on Horde Night. So, uh, Horde Night is definitely better for loot, but this is like endless XP. Holy crap. Ah, oh, the drop definitely killed that zombie. Freaking stealing all my XP on me. That's the one downfall, I guess, of having a fall base like that. Oh, we got two screamers going on now. If it gets too intense, guys, we will whip out the big weapons here. And, uh, then take these guys out. Not a problem. Oh, sweet. We did get that tough zombie kill. Okay. Let's get him off of that. There you are. <laughs> the guy just pushed him off. Whoa. Boom. Okay, we got a bear going on over here. We got a nurse over here. There we go. The bear fell off. Nice. Nice. It, at least it kind of rotates the zombies too, right? So that if, like, one side uh, actually gets, like, overwhelmed or gets a really bad zombie at it, you can avoid them. Well, multiple cop spits. <laughs> Those things will actually do a lot of damage over time to the base. Here we go. See you later, Kappa. Ooh, getting a good pile of these guys now. Yeah, <laughs> Screamer farming. Love it. This is something I've honestly meant to do for a very, very long time. It's seven days of dying. For some reason, I haven't gotten to it. And now that I've discovered it, it's amazing. It's freaking awesome. There you go. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Bear down there. These things can get right in here. I think to be super careful of those guys. There we go, get off of there. Okay, guys, we gotta do some repairs here. There we go, that block is really, really bad. Like, this repair is quicker, but I honestly wish it almost repaired way faster. <laughs> ah, look at that, just rotating, falling off the bridge while I'm doing the repairs. Nice. Whew, that's a fine balance of keeping control of everything. There we go, boom. Oh no. Boom! <laughs> That's a little bit of damage. Okay, well, he's off the edge at least. And another explosion. Boom. <laughs> Heard it in the background. That was friggin' awesome. Okay, so it seems like we got a good pile of these guys. Holy crap, that was a big mutated dude. That was a very big guy. So it seems like we have the majority are actually on that side, so... We'll try to thin them out a little bit, I think. There we go. Whoa! Ooh, almost swung at that guy's chest. Not a good idea. Holy crap, that's a zombie behemoth. That's what that is. Don't want to hit the behemoth. Ooh, demo zombies are sketchy like that. They just keep jumping up and down, exposing that chest of theirs. Holy crap. Not a good time. Boom. Yeah, just racking up the kills, guys. Come on, zombies. Oh, shit. Oh no, guys, it happened! Oh! <laughs> I swore, and an explosion happened. Well, I guess I'm not editing that one out. Okay, well, that was fun. But it survived it! Oh, you know what we need to do then, guys? We're gonna need to do some emergency repairs here. There we go, that block's repaired. That block's repaired. That block's repaired. <laughs> At least we don't have any spitters right now. That makes things uh, a little bit easier. Okay, here we go. Whew. Buddy. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of that crowd. Get rid of this tryhard over here. You ain't getting at me, buddy. Is he down inside of it? Oh, he is too. Oh, no. Did he get in? He did too. <laughs> Damn it. So, yeah, they can sneak in definitely every once in a while if it gets too hairy in here. So, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. It's because of this, I think. That one spot right there at the base that they go all funky in. Maybe it's a good idea. Oh, no, I that, that's a block they have to slip off of. I was going to be like replace it with a flat block, but I think that would kind of void the whole purpose of it, right? They wouldn't fall off the edge at all. Okay, so it seems like the screamers have died off. 
Look at this bee, even just taking a beating. Just like that. What is up? Get out of here, nurse. I hate those things in the stupid freaking region. There we go. Football players off the edge. Look at that guy. Yeah, so much fun. Just side to side to side. It's freaking awesome. It's like they almost come in groups now. Just clear the group out and move to the other one. There we go. Yeah, see like how they're falling down there and kind of getting caught? I think that's how most of the action's actually happening. There we go, got another Screamer. <laughs> oh jeez, guys, just constant action. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say this is the last Screamer here, and uh, we'll start clearing this out. Because it definitely works, and we need to do some more of this to get our level up. And uh, just just for like the loot alone, right? Like, I'm definitely hearing loot bakes coming off, so not as many as Horde Knight, but still. Definitely getting some of that sweet, sweet loot. There we go. We'll kill this guy too. Behemoth. Holy crap, 9,000 health this thing has. I'm barely doing any damage to it. <laughs> it's a good thing I have... Oh, frig off. Oh boy. <laughs> what am I doing? Whoa, where did it go? Oh, it dropped down. Okay, you know what? We're finishing these guys off. Let's just finish off. Whoa, what the heck? Get the heck out of here. There we go. Okay. Whew. Looks like we actually may have this situation under control. And to get rid of the heat, what I'm going to do is go down below and take out all of those, all of those friggin... Holy crap, they're all still here. Oh, that was risky. Some hip fire at them. Boom, is that the behemoth that just went down? I do believe it was. Nice, nice. I'm going to go destroy those barrels is what I was trying to say. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, we have another Screamer, so... Let's go ahead and kill this guy. What we might have to do is uh, the runaway technique. And you know how you do that? You run away. <laughs> Let, wait for the heat map to come down and then, uh, and then come back. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm seeing more and more Screamers here, guys. Holy crap! Okay, it's getting out of control now, especially now that I'm actually using a, uh, a weapon. So, like I said, scream and run. Ah, here we go. So, I will look back here in a second, and we will uh, fire at any that may be coming at us here. There we go. And let me focus there for a second. It's really weird. Lean you guys up. What is, whoa. What is up? We still have a lot of this ammo, so we're pretty good there. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is intense. Oh, no. My weapon is broken, guys. I forgot to check the durability of it. Oh, you know what? Come at me. My army of traders is going to help me here. <laughs> oh, we got a wolf over there. Well, may as well take out that while we're at it. There we go. We got this little demon guy running around over here. A little terrifying thing. What are you doing? Oh, he's just standing around over there. Okay, so I guess we don't have any of those left. Whew. Okay. So let's go ahead and repair this right here. There we go. And look here. <laughs> look at our XP. That's insane. So we got another level in a bit. I mean, there's really only so much you could take. I think the best way of doing it is to actually use your melees and not use your gun because your, your gun, it, it does attract a lot of attention, right? I did just repair my weapon, right? Why did it go over there? That's so weird. Okay, well, let's uh, let's pick off a few of these guys here, but we definitely have to come back and, and do this again. Shut up. You will suffer. Okay, what does he have here? Holy crap. Like, look at that. We dropped so many of these guys, too. We're, we're going to have a, a fair amount of... Um, of drops over there together. Well, are they all gone now? What just happened? Whoa. Uh, okay. Well, we may as well make a bum rush at it then. And take out these barrels. Or pick them up. Pick, pick them up real quick, 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 quick. There we go. Holy crap, guys. 
Holy crap, look how much damage those things did to the front of the base there. That's insane. Oh boy. Oh boy, those things are deadly. Okay, so that'll definitely help with the uh, the heat there going down. But yeah, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Look at the base just blowing holes in it. That's definitely from uh, a few zombies, though, hitting it really, really hard. Oh, we got a wandering horde over there. That's hilarious. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to call it uh, for an episode here. That was a ton of fun, and that's something I've definitely never, ever, ever have done on my channel. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, of course, subscribe. If you guys would like to support me further, you can either become a member beside the join button, or if you'd like to get something physical in your hands that I've made, you can check out my Etsy shop in the pinned comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay classy. Say I'm gonna do my thing my way No matter what you people do I'm gonna do my thing much better than you No matter what you say or do Oh boy, you're out of luck It's gonna roll right off of me Like water off the back